Good morning, friends, and happy Monday. Today is a rainy, cloudy, yucky day. We're supposed to be with severe storm. I feel like a meteorologist. Today in the Atlanta area, you are gonna see cloudy skies. There's gonna be absolutely no sunshine with a chance of severe thunderstorms. You are in high risk of severe thunderstorms. Hail, heavy winds, damaging lightning, or is that damaging winds and heavy lightning? <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'm not a good meteorologist after all. Anywho, welcome to Monday, guys. I um, I am up, dressed, out, ready, to, well, not out yet, but I'm out of the shower, ready to go. I have a few things that I have to go do today. I have to go pick up some paint um, to finish up my side of my doors and my kitchen. Um, I did get majority of that side done yesterday. Um, I just have to put another coat on the doors and then that side will pre pretty much be done. Um, except I gotta pick up sandpaper, paint, um, two new paint brushes, um, blah, 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 blah. I have stuff with my UPS. So yeah, let's go. Let's go do all that stuff because I got to go before the storm hits. Let's go. Alrighty, friends, so um, we had a good weekend, had a good weekend, fun, 4th of July, or 4th of July, good grief. Um, I am scatterbrained today. St. Patrick's Day <laughs> this past weekend, and it's so funny because everything is starting to like be really bright and green around here. It's so pretty, all the trees are blooming. Love it, it's just the sign of spring. Isn't today, tomorrow? When is the first day of spring? I don't remember, but anyway, it's happening. One of these days this week, it's gonna be the first day of spring. Um, but anyway, we had a great St. Patrick's Day weekend. Um, it's funny, cause like, when Brian is like, we both are kind of like, you know, old and set in our ways, I guess you could say. And we just kind of like, we're very particular about things. We like things a certain way. And when those certain things just don't happen, it just kind of throws us out of kilter. You know, I don't know. Anyway. Um, so like we hardly ever go out to like bars or clubs bars more than anything and like hang out um and it was kind of like he was really hesitant that's where we were kind of like on the fence about going saturday night anyway long story short we were there and it was like you know we could only talk for a little bit because as soon as the band started and the crowds came in you couldn't hear each other talking so it's either you're screaming at each other or you're sitting there with a boring look on your face and that's pretty much what it was like because we sat there and didn't have much of a conversation with anybody because you just can't hear anything which is which is you know the, it's a, to be expected when you go to a place like that but um I mean it didn't like I wasn't upset about it I didn't change my mood or anything I wasn't like pissed off because nobody wasn't talking to me or anything like that nothing like that at all um but I uh I just found that after we got home because we left there about 10 30 and uh after we got home and you know i put my pajamas on washed my face brushed my teeth got all that stuff done i like told brian i'm like you know i'm like i would have much rather just stayed home <laughs> and like watched big bang or rented a movie or something and, and watched it at home instead of just kind of sitting there um we ended up spending like 60 dollars on food and beer um which i didn't drink anything that night oh thank god um <clears throat> again i'm not much of a drinker um i do like a margarita from time to time but i am not like a big heavy drinker um it does not sit well with me at all so anyway i didn't drink brian had like i think two or three beer uh, beers i think i'm not really sure but anyway nonetheless our total bill was like 60 bucks and like i said um in my vlog yesterday i said that their corned beef and cabbage was like crappy it was like bacon strips or something like they didn't know how to make it but anyway other than that i just feel it's funny because it's like you know you're getting old when you can't even go like to a like a bar type of thing and sit around and and enjoy it because it's too loud there's people talking um <clears throat> it's just too much too much too much but thank god there's like no smoking in there but um there was some girls that we know were smoking those like um vapes or whatever and those were th th although they smelled good they were still like oof you know um but anyway the best part of the night though was promise on that bowl that was hilarious 
Um, <clears throat> and if anybody would do it, she would do it. She's so brave to do stuff like that. But anyway, that was about it. But oh god yeah it's just like you know we just kind of we're old <laughs> it's just not our scene anymore and it's funny because it's like it's really never been our scene i guess um <clears throat> brian and i have always just kind of been homebodies and never just done all that stuff we would have much rather to just have been in our subdivision hanging out at a neighbor's house doing all that and just having fun and listening to music or whatever um it's just like it wouldn't have cost us a dime if <laughs> if we did that but oh well i mean it's nice to do every once in a great while but i think we'll probably continue to pass on stuff like that um we'll just stay home like i said we're just kind of old and set in our ways and um <clears throat> that's for some people and then some people it's not for some people so and I guess it's just not for us just stuff like that it's not for us but anyway I'm getting ready to pull into my my PO box and uh, pick up whatever is there because I have no clue I didn't order anything again I don't think well maybe I did I'll have to see <laughs> I know I ordered a shirt from Etsy oh and I do know I ordered oh yeah yeah oh yeah I did order some stuff but anyway I'll check back with you guys in a bit bye alrighty so I'm back home and I got four orders today um for my P.O. box, and I got a card, which I put over, it's in my purse, I'll have to get it in a little bit. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and open all of these and see what they are. I thought I'd go ahead and share that with you guys too. I gotta find something to set you guys on. Hold, please. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and open up. This is, this is, um, is this an Etsy order? Yeah, this is an Etsy order. Um, and I'll tell you guys the site in just a second. Oh, okay, so, okay, I um, love these little bags. So, again, you guys, I bought another one of these. I bought two, actually, so I have to open the other one up in just a second. These are from Amy's Small World. Again, these are those little um, plastic clear see-through bags um, with the whole um, Disney print on them. She does such an amazing job. I love the ones that I ordered from her last month and I've been using them in my purse every day. Absolutely love them. I got this one for my purse. Um, that way I can put my keys in there because I usually, uh, right now I'm carrying around a big um, Kate Spade like satchel bag, side bag, and um, it's so big and then I just like drop my keys in there and then I'm like struggling to find my keys. So, um, I don't know, is that like anal that I want to put my keys in here? But I want to put my keys in here that way I know when I can just drop them in and I can just pick this up and they're my keys. So, love this bag. These small bags are, how much are these small bags? $9.00 for the small bag. You guys, I'm not kidding. I absolutely love these bags. And I know that a few of you have um, ordered them from her. Um, so Amy's Small World, that's her um, Etsy shop. Absolutely fantastic, wonderful, love it so much. Um, yeah, if you guys um, order from her again, let her know that I sent you and just say, hey, I got her um, your information from Angie in Wonderland. So. Um, anyway, um, let's see if this is the next one. I'm not sure if this, let's see if this one might be the next one. Yeah, I think this is the other one that I got. So we'll go ahead and open this one. This is the large one. And, oh my gosh, yes, love it. Again, this one's also from Amy's Small World. This large one is $14. And look, there's the print on that one. So cute and it's see-through. Um, it's the large one, so I'm definitely going to be utilizing these. I love these bags. Oh my gosh, they're so freaking cute. Love them. Amy's Small World. I actually put it down here too, so you guys know which one it is. Okay, this is um, from Etsy as well. This is from Boho Rose Design Company. And I know this is one of my shirts that I ordered. Because I ordered a couple of shirts from Etsy. I just don't know which one this one is. This one is, let's see, oh, many thanks. It's a pretty card. Alrighty, um, so this is the one. Oh yeah, how cute, I remember this one. So this is the one that I got. This is um, just a Disney shirt, obviously Minnie Mouse, you can see, and then there's like, they're Mickey all the way around in a heart, or excuse me, not in a heart, in his the shape of his like face, all the way around, and then a bow at the top. Love this, so that's gonna be another fun shirt to wear while I am at Disney um, in 23 days or something like that. And then again in May, my solo trip. Oh, I can't wait. 
And then um, this is from, this is another uh, Etsy order from Lucy's Chic Boutique. Look at the paper, flamingos, that's so cute. Lucy's Chic Boutique. Cute, oh yes, love it. Okay, um, this is her Lucy's Chic Boutique from Etsy. Um, it gives like the washing instructions on the back. And this, this is gonna be like, like an everyday t-shirt. It says, choose kind. Yes, that's so nice. Love it, and I love the color. It's like a rosy, pretty color. Love it, choose kind. Now that is, that is my favorite thing to say, choose kind. Um, okay, and that is it for my Etsy haul. I'm gonna put these in the wash machine, so I'll throw those over there. So I can put them in the wash and then I'm gonna clean up my mess here and get started with my day. Oh, um, let me go find that card. Alrighty, so the card that I received is from Michelle Williams again. She is awesome. She, I swear, she sends me like a card every week and it seriously makes my day. I love that, it's so nice. Thank you so much, Michelle. Oh, you're somebody special. She sent me this beautiful little Easter card. How cute. So cute, wonderful, warm, and sunny too. Hope your Easter is a lot like you. Happy Easter, Angie. Look at her little bunny she drew. Cute. Love, Michelle. Love you, Michelle. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I'm actually gonna, see I have my birthday cards. I have two birthday cards right there. I'm gonna put this one up there as well. So let's go ahead and do that. There, I think the other one was from her too. One of them was from her. But anyway, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my day started. And um, <clears throat> I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I know I'm gonna finish painting those cabinets. Um, <clears throat> let me take you in there and let me show you like that side of the kitchen that's done. All right, so these are the doors that I did yesterday. I put all of those up, hung them up. So those are looking really, really nice. I cannot believe that on my way home just now, I realized that I forgot to buy sandpaper. And I really, really, really need sandpaper because I'm trying to scuff all those up. So um, <clears throat> that is what I'm gonna do. And then um, uh, I have to do that, plus I have to finish painting. But then this whole section will be like, come, like done being painted. Um, and then I'll just have to go over it with the glaze or whatever. Yes, I know I hung them up, but I'm gonna glaze them chill out um but uh that's what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna get my day started and it's only 10 15 it's so early it's like oh my goodness what am i gonna do for the rest of the day i know i gotta do laundry i have to clean our bathroom and uh that's the stuff that i gotta do so today's monday it's a monday what do you know? Oh, did I tell you guys? Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. I ordered a new bed. Oh, I ordered a new bed. And I don't know what's coming in. It's going to come in like this week. Um, all I did is order a headboard. That is all I ordered. Um, and I'm not going to tell you what kind until it gets here and I'll show you guys. So it's going to be a secret. You guys are going to have to hang around with me for the rest of the week to find out what my headboard is going to look like. So, ah, all right. Got to get busy. See you guys in a bit. Alrighty guys, so it's about that time. I am making lunch. I'm actually a little behind. It's about 12.45, but I'm just warming up my corned beef and cabbage that I made for St. Patty's Day. Um, so, but this is what um, my stuff looks like. It is so good. I ate this for um, lunch yesterday and dinner last night, and it's so tasty. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to go ahead and sit down for a few minutes and eat my lunch, and then I will... Uh, check back in with you guys a little bit later. Bye. Alrighty, so I wanted to show you guys I cleaned our bathroom today. I um I never really share our bathroom because I don't like it. <laughs> I'm gonna change the color and stuff in here very, very soon, but I just kind of want to show you guys that I cleaned up the bathroom, um, scrubbed the sink, scrub oh no, this spot. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to do it again. Um, but anyway, this is the glass cleaner that I use to clean all of our um, glass with, our windows and our glass, you know, mirrors or whatever. Um, this stuff is the best stuff ever in the whole wide world. And I use it with like those wipey cloths from Lowe's. Um, I use this in my car too to clean the windows because it gets the 
windows so clean. And then I use the Myers uh, multi-surface concentrate on the countertops and the bathtub area and the toilet area, which is in here. This is like a little quiet little bathroom area. So um, anyway, I just kind of have like a candle lit over there. I have a little basket of toilet paper, but this is what like this bathroom looks like. Um, I usually have stuff hanging on the wall here and then I took it down because I knew eventually I'm gonna change all this stuff, but I still like my little powder room in the little mirror right there. So that might stay. But as far as like right here, I haven't figured that out yet. But, um, and this is where we keep like our um, wash rags and towels and stuff, extra toilet paper, personal hygiene stuff. We keep that here. Kleenexes, spray, poopery. And then I keep a candle in here as well. But um, anyway, love this candle. This candle is the vanilla lime candle from Yankee Candle. And it smells like, um, I know you guys like, uh, I'm trying to think of those, Mr. Misty slushes from Dairy Queen. That's what that smells like. And I love lime Mr. Misty's. Can't wait to get one of those this year. Um, but anyway, I, um, I've also been trying to work on, we have to get this spot sanded, but I'm not gonna worry about it right now because I wanna paint, get this room uh, repainted because the painters who did this last year made a huge mess. But as you can see, that is yucky right there and this is yucky right here. So we're gonna repaint all of this stuff and I'm gonna make it lighter in here. Again, more of the farmhouse theme. Um, but I did get this the other day at TJ Maxx. So I added this here in our bathroom. And basically I just kind of have like a fake succulent in there um, and then I have some of my um, bath, uh, bath wash, excuse me, bath wash in here, bubble bath stuff, and then some of the bath balms that I got from uh, Bath and Body Works, and then of course a little, this is a um, Ray Dunn jar that you can put like a little tea light inside of here. Alrighty, so anyway, sorry. And then um, these are Ray Dunn, like I said. And then um, I have down here just some of the bath like salts that Brian likes to use. These are all from Basin, which we got all these at Disney Springs when we were there. And then of course more of my uh, uh, what is this stuff called? Bubbly um, bath, bubble bath from Bath and Body Works. And then another like tea light thing, uh, Ray Dunn jar that says be calm. And then all of the other like bath bombs down there. And then some Epsom salt down here at the very bottom, which um, I love this little thing here because it's just so cute and convenient. And it just kind of puts everything together so nicely and keeps it real, keeps it corralled in a nice little spot, which I like. Um, like I said, we're going to go a little bit lighter in this bathroom once I, um, maybe like in May or something we're going to do it. But for now, bathroom is clean. Check that off the list. Um, again, something that I do about once a week is I just kind of clean the bathroom and, uh, get it all nice and clean. I wiped down all the cabinets today, mopped the floors all the way around. I vacuumed the rug, cleaned this up. I don't want to end up getting rid of this, but I might end up getting rid of that because it's not going to really match once I put all of the, um, farmhouse stuff in here. I'm not really sure. Um, I might see if I can have it reupholstered. Not really sure if I can, but yeah. But anyway, that's that's the bathroom and um i've been doing laundry today too so i have a load of laundry to fold it's just been one of those crazy busy mondays but i am going to go ahead and end the vlog here because i'm having some internet issues and i'm not really sure how long this is going to take to put this up and upload or whatever so um uh and with the storms and stuff coming we may be without power not really sure um but anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna end the vlog. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Hope that you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to go over to my other channel, Adventures in Wonderland, and check that channel out. Um, I'm hoping to get a question and uh, answer up this week, so I gotta sit down and do all that. I have the um, house beads DIY that I'm gonna do this week as well. Uh, London and I are gonna do a, um, a collab on that one, so she's gonna have one up on her channel, and I'm gonna have one up on mine. Um, and we'll let you guys know when that's going to happen. But as for now, I'm going to go. Thank you guys so much. I will see you guys tomorrow. Be kind to one another. Bye, friends. I know that you're curious. I know that you're strong. 